So ladies and gentlemen, today we have a movie called The Exorcist, which is probably the most requested reaction on this channel so far. On every video I checked, you guys are like always mentioning this movie and I was really curious, so I had to check it out. Are you guys ready for this adventure? Because I'm not. I know it's gonna be interesting, it's gonna be creepy. Let's find out together. Full movie reaction will be posted on Patreon with polls also. I'm doing some weekly polls and, and if you are interested guys, join me on the other side. Now, let's straight down to the reaction. Let's go. This came out in 1973, so... Man, this creepy soundtrack already... Don't tell me they're gonna find something demonic, you know? And that's how everything starts. Based on what I see, it's quite possible. I know one thing for sure. Whatever you find, ancient, don't open it. Mm, so it means they've been looking for it before as well. Some people might. Hmm. Oh man, something started to happen to him or already? That's quite a transition, man, and my volume is so up. Shaitan, you are a shaitan. Abuna. Time stopped even. I don't think this is Man, what's what is he looking for, man? And it had the same face as that small thing he found, right? Small artifact or something. Something is in the ceiling. Sure do love you. Good morning, Mrs. McNeil. How are you today? Oh, Carl, we've got rats in the attic. You better get some crabs. That's it. I think it's clean. No rats. I just heard them, Carl. I'm gonna see. It's our clothes. That's what we want. That's exactly what we want. Hey, Bert. Oh, Bert. Now take a look at this damn thing, will you? Just... Well, why are they tearing the building down? Shall we summon the writer? Hiding? Fucking. <laughs> All right, hustle background and action.
They should be based on the real events, right? I mean, this is what's happening now. Oh man, this sound for gave me chills for some reason. I don't know why. It's very haunting. And there's not a day in my life that I don't feel like a fraud. I don't know anyone who likes to sell that. Beautiful gray horse. I think it was a gelding. Oh, so beautiful. <laughs> oh, mom, can't we get a horse? I know. <laughs> When could I have one? We'll see, Reagan. We'll Reagan, don't. Reagan, don't. Reagan, don't. Reagan, don't. Reagan. You'll be sorry. No. Man, they have a beautiful relationship, though. Father, could you help an old older boy? I'm a Catholic. Interesting encounter. Guys, do you remember the coin they found? Was there Greek writing on there? I kind of recognize it, but I'm not entirely sure. So if you know, please let me know in the comments. Too tight? No. Mama, I could take you somewhere where you'd be safe, you wouldn't be alone. There would be people around, you know, you wouldn't be sitting here listening to a radio. You understand me? And I'm not going no place. See me? You got it for something. Mama, I'm all right, I'm fine. Really, I am. There. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Hey, where'd this come from? Closet. You been playing with it? I'll show you. Oh boy, why would you do such a thing, man? Have you guys actually played this? Well, let's both play with it. You really don't want me to play, huh? Captain Howdy said no. Oh man. She already invited some demons, right? Nice. Oh, that is. Do you think my mom's pretty? Captain Howdy? Well, maybe sleeping. I'm taking an eyelash off your face. Mm. What are we gonna do on your birthday? <laughs> what can we do? Got any ideas? Mm -mm. Hey, you know, we never finished seeing all the sights in Washington. Hmm? It's a nice day. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'll take you to a movie. Okay? No, oh, I love you. We have a good day, yeah? You can bring Mr. Dennings if you like. Oh, you know, it's okay. If you hmm. like him. Yeah, I like him. Don't you like him? You're gonna marry him, aren't you? <laughs> you can't yeah. marry You can't hide anything from kids, man. But you like him. I like pizzas, too, but I'm not gonna marry one. You don't like him like Daddy? I love you, Daddy. Burke just comes around here a lot because, well, he's lonely because Burke and I are just friends. Okay. Good night, honey. I need reassignment, Tom. I want out of this job. You're the best we've got. Tom, some of their problems come down to faith, their vocation, the meaning of their lives, and I can't cut it anymore. Mm, he's tired of the fit. I need out. I'm unfit. I think I've lost my faith, Tom. Yes, this is Mrs. McNeil. Kidding, I have been on this line for 20 minutes. He doesn't even call his daughter on her birthday, for Christ's sake. Maybe. No, I've got it, Sharon. It's all right. Try it again, please, and let it ring. What do you do, take an illiteracy test? Don't tell me to be calm, goddammit! Bill, you're kidding me. I thought I just went to bed. Hey, wh what are we doing, scene 61? What are you doing here? My bed was shaking. Why was it shaking? You gotta be kidding me, man. Yeah, candle will save your life. Oh, 
What the hell was that? Jesus. Did you see what happened to the candle? Thanks a lot. That's terrific. Perfectly still, breathe normally. Oh my gosh. Tell me if you feel a vibration. I don't feel anything. Oh man. And this tells you temperature and the red light goes on. I don't want it. Oh man, she became so aggressive. so creepy. A disorder of the nerves. We don't know yet exactly how it works. Hyperactivity, performance in math. Yeah, why the math? What is that? Now this is for Ritalin. Is, it, is that a tranquilizer? It's a stimulant. A stimulant? The condition isn't quite what it seems. Nobody knows the cause of hyperkinetic behavior in a child. The symptoms could be overreaction to depression. My daughter isn't depressed. Well, are you sure? Well, she let loose quite a string while I was examining her, Mrs. Well, her vocabulary is rather extensive. Like, like what? Specifically, what did she say? She advised me to keep my fingers away from her. Goddamn cunt. I can't believe it. You don't think a psychiatrist? We'll wait and see. You should have called me the minute it happened. So we give her a shot and bring her here. Two or three months and she's out. Good as new. We want to see Mrs. Caras. Are you a relative? Yes, I am her brother. He is her son. If you wasn't a pretty big famous psychiatrist now, Park Avenue, I wait for you outside. Oh man, places like this give me anxiety. No, let me out. No. The father. Mama, it's Demi, Mama. Why you did the bitch to me, Demi? Mama, I'm gonna take you out of here, Mama. Tonight. Demi said to me, Demi. I'm gonna take you, take you home. Bitch. Can't you put us someplace else? Private hospital? Who got the money for that, Demi? God, what what the hell is she doing, man? Oh my god, honey. I'm sorry she's been sick. She's starting to get possessed and it just intensifies. Mother, what's wrong with me? It's just like the doctor said. You just take your pills and you'll be fine, really, okay? Is it coming out, will it? I think so. Oh. Holy cow! So the kid was right, man. The bed was actually shaking. Three clubs and a six. Where'd you get the money for the shovel's reboot? That's an insult. I got a valve pump. Where'd you get it then? I stole it. The college president shouldn't drink. Oh, I should have been there. I wasn't there. I should have been. Are you thinking of sleep? Yeah, but you're gonna steal my shoes now. No, shut up and go to sleep. Okay. Stealing is a sin. So was that dream connected? Definitely was connected to this one, right? I am not willing to see you, and I shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring me to everlasting life. The doctor like probably has no faith in looking for a scientific explanation, but he should see it, man. If it's a lesion, in a way she's fortunate, all we have to do is remove this car. Regan, can you sit up, scoot over here? A little more. Regan, I'm just gonna move you down on the table, okay? That's just for a short time. Now, Regan, you're gonna feel something a little bit cold and wet. Don't move. Good. You're gonna feel some pressure here. Now, don't move.
can't watch this man. <laughs> Series? I don't think so. You got some time? Yeah, of course. I've gotten worse since I phoned you. I think you got home Did you give her the medication I gave you? Yes. Well, that was Riddle. Mother, please! Make it stop! Stop! He's dead and killing! Oh, my. Let's see what the. Keep away! The sour is mine! Fuck me! God, man, this is so freaking creepy. Hey, I'm speechless. She's heavily sedated. She'll probably sleep through tomorrow. What was going on in there? How could she fly off the bed like that? Pathological states. Oh, man, again, there are scientific explanations. What do you have split personality or what? So what's next? A little more encephalogram, I would think. It will involve another spinal. Could conceivably turn up there. Would eliminate certain other possibilities. Man, they're torturing the kid, like, for no reason. Dr. Tanny says the x-rays are negative. In other words, normal. You keep any drugs in your house? Of course not. Nothing like that. Christ, I don't even smoke grass. You planning to be home soon? I'm building a new house. My old one's been sold. It's gonna take Reagan until we are up for a while. Why'd you ask? I think it's time we started looking for a psychiatrist. Like that ain't gonna help as well, but still move on. Hello? That's a bad sign. Did you see behind her? Yeah, only God can help, you know. Didn't know who tell me. Burke isn't. I had him stay with her, and I should have known better. I'm sorry. We have to start looking for a shrink. Suppose he heard. Haven't heard. Burke's dead. He fell down from the top of the steps right outside. Broke his neck. Man, is this the guy who girl said that he was gonna die up there? Yeah. I know. <laughs> oh my. Touch your forehead, open your eyes. <laughs> I mean, suddenly I'm cold too. I'm not kidding. Is there someone inside you? Sometimes. Is it Captain Howdy? I don't know. Not anymore. I'm afraid. Do you want him to leave you? Yes. I'm speaking to the person inside of Reagan now. If you are there, you two are hypnotized. Come forward. the person inside of Reagan? Definitely not a person. Father Karras? Did you look like a boxer? William F. Kinderman. Homicide. John Garfield. People tell you that, Father? The people tell you you look like Paul Newman? Always. <laughs> well, you know this director was doing the film here. You're also familiar how last week he died. Only what I read in the papers. You read how he died. In a fall. Perk Dennings. Bottom of those steps leading to M Street with his head turned completely around, facing backwards. Oh, my goodness, man. Didn't happen in the fall? It's possible. You think the killer and the desecrator are the same? Maybe somebody crazy, somebody with a spite against the church. I don't know anyone who fits that description. You know, I think really did it. the Dominicans go pick on them. I could have you deported, you know that? <laughs> I lied. You look like Sal Minio. Carl, did you put this in Reagan's bedroom? Carl, if you put this in Reagan's bedroom, I want you to tell me. Not me. Mentors you. What man? 
Why your daughter remember Mr. Dennings was in her room that night? No, she was heavily sedated. It's serious. May I ask? We still don't know. Comes to visit, stays only 20 minutes, and leaves all alone. Uh, it isn't likely he would fall from a window. That the deceased was killed and then pushed from your daughter's window. Oh my goodness, man. Now I understand. So she killed. She killed him. Oh my god! Let me! This is just shocking, I swear. You know what she did? Man, you would just go insane. There's no freaking way you would see anything like this and stay sane after that. Please go away. I'm Father Carlos. It's all right, I should have told you I wouldn't be in uniform. Have you got a cigarette, Father? Sure. How did a shrink ever get to be a priest? It's the other way around. The society sent me through medical school. You're a friend of Father Dyer's, right? Yes, I am. Did he talk to you about my party? He sure did. Uh -huh. well, about my daughter? He didn't mention her? No. He didn't tell you what she did? How do you go about getting an exorcism? I beg your pardon? If a person's possessed by a demon or something. Well, the first thing, I'd have to get him into a time machine and get him back to the 16th century. Well, it just doesn't happen anymore, Miss McNeil. Mm. Miss McNeil, since the day I joined the Jesuits, I've never met one priest who has performed an exorcism, not one. It just so happens that somebody very close to me is, is probably possessed. Probably. <laughs> probably. Church, before it approves an exorcism, conducts an investigation. Oh, yeah. Meanwhile, it, your daughter... You could do it yourself, No, could I you? couldn't. I... Could you see her? I could see her as a psychiatrist, but I can't oh, see her. Oh, not a psychiatrist. They sent me to you. Now you're going to send me back to them? Could you help her? Just help her! <laughs> Let's introduce ourselves. And I'm the devil. If you're the devil, why not make the straps disappear? That's much too vulgar display of power, Karis. Where's Reagan? In here. And you're helping all all the boys, Father. Your mother's in here with his cash. <sighs> she mentioned mother too. Then you must know my mother's maiden name. What is it? <laughs> <coughs> that was freaking disgusting. Look, I'm only against the possibility of doing your daughter more harm than good. Nothing you can do could make it any worse. I need evidence that the church would accept his signs of possession. Like her speaking in a language she's never known in a study. I'd have to look it up. You probably know as much about possession as most priests. You ask me what I think is best for your daughter. Six months under observation in the best hospital you can find. You tell me you know for a fact that an exorcism wouldn't do any good! Did Reagan know a priest was coming over? Did you know my mother died recently? Yes, I did. I'm very sorry. No. Is Reagan aware of it? Not at all. It's not important. Good night. Well, it is the most important. In this case, man. Take it and just don't, don't do it. Hello, Daddy? What's they say? I didn't oh, go to bed. Well, you see, um... <laughs> first we... I don't know. Oh, We're in Washington now, Daddy, and... Broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. For this is my body. When the supper was ended, again he gave you thanks and praise. Gave the cup to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood. What an excellent day for an exorcism. You'd like that? But wouldn't that drive you out of Reagan? It would bring us together, you and us. Did you do that? Mm. Do it again. In time. You speak Latin. I go to absolve. God. Please, It's English in reverse. Let her die. I am no one. I am no one. So she has multiple demons, right, man? Digging up tombs. He's had experience. I didn't know that. 10, 12 years ago, I think, in Africa. Heard it damn near killed him. Wow. Maybe it was the same demon. So the demon knows that Marion already defeated him. That's my take on that.
like how misty everything is, you know? It amplifies the tension, like, for sure. I'm Mrs. McNeil. I'm Father Mary. Is Father Kermis here? Yes. It's mm. an honor to meet you, Father. <sighs> and gather up a cassock for myself. Purple stole and some holy water. Mm. I believe we should begin. Especially important is the warning to avoid conversations with a demon. We may ask what is relevant. Anything beyond that is dangerous. He will like to confuse us. Mix lies with the truth. The attack is psychological, Damien, and powerful. Do not listen. It will be very difficult. So far, I'd say there seem to be three. Mm. She's convinced that There's she's... There's only one. Oh, I, oh, I also told you guys that there might be several, but now he's saying there's just one. So, Demon was trying to deceive. What is your daughter's middle name, Mrs. McNeil? Teresa. What a lovely name. There we go. Stick your cock up her ass. Be silent! Oh. 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 in heaven. Come, they will be done. Give us our trespasses. But deliver us from the evil one. By thy might, defend my cause. Men of violence, seek my life. The Lord sustains my life. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Be unto her, O Lord, a fortified tower. Let the enemy have no power over her. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. God and Father of our Lord, who once and for all consigned that fallen tyrant to crush that roaring lion, made in your image and likeness. Cast him out of your servant, Reagan Therese McNeil, and to redeem through your son, God, forever and ever. Lord, hear my prayer. Goodness, man, the entire bed is levitating now. Damien, the response, please, Damien. Do not my cry come unto thee. God, the Lord of all creation, prince and scorpions, your unworthy servant, Thanks. has power to confront. <laughs> Begone, you hostile power. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Pukes all over it. <laughs> I cast you out, Jesus Christ! It is he who began! Fuck him, Garrus! Began! And the Holy Spirit, who lives and reigns, and the Holy Spirit, Damien, defender of the human race! This is absolutely insanity right now. You judge of the living and the dead. Oh. It's the power. Oh. It's the power of Christ. The power of Christ compels you. 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 Do not despise my command because you know me to be a sinner. It's God himself who commands you. God the Father commands you. Oh my God. God the Holy Spirit commands you. Oh no, he's out. Did you see the statue? The Prince of Madness before Almighty God and the world by fire. Man, seriously, I'm shocked. Like how how this was made, man. No one would even dare to make a movie like this today. Why this girl doesn't make sense? Because she's innocent. I think the point is to make us despair, to see ourselves as animal and ugly. Will you excuse me, Damien? Such a wonderful explanation it was, man. Demi, why you do this to me? I knew it, man. I knew. Sh I'm afraid. You're not my mother. Demi, please! What is it? Her heart. She's going to come. You're not my mother! mother! Demi, please! Man, Demon, Demon is exposing his weakness, you know? Is it over? It's far from over. Is she gonna die? No. Oh, it's him. Did the demon kill him? Oh, 
man. He's a man. You son of a bitch! Come into me! Take me! Oh man, it's in him now. Who's this? Who's this? He sacrificed himself to save the girl. Wow. That's so sad for the priest. Do you want to make a confession? Are you sorry for having offended God for all the sins of your past life? He go to himself and will bump his back his to deserve you. Man, it takes so much courage to sacrifice your life to save the unknown girl for you, basically. You know what I mean? And the way to go. I found this in her room. Mm. Belong to the priest. Better hurry. Reagan, come on, honey. We have to get going. She doesn't remember any of it. Of course. That's good. Honey, this is Father Dyer. Hi, Father. Hello. Goodbye, Father. Goodbye. She remembered that, maybe. That someone saved her life. Father Dyer? I thought you'd like to keep this. Why don't you keep it? That shall keep you safe. Yep, better to avoid that. Lieutenant, you just missed him. How's the girl? She seemed fine. That's important. Back to business, back to work. Bye, Father. Goodbye. Father Dyer, you go to films? Sure. I got passes. Wuthering Heights. Who's in it? Heathcliff, Jackie Gleason, and in the role of Catherine Earnshaw, Lucille Ball. I've seen it. Another one. Had your lunch? No. Oh, there we go man, we made it through. Okay, I gotta say that was definitely the creepiest and most intense experience that I've had so far during reactions man. As far as I remember this was the creepiest and most intense one. That I haven't seen anything like this before man, anything. I'm a fan of horror movies. That comes out actually. I mean, wow, man, I don't even know what I'm saying right now. It does make sense, but I gotta say, these old movies, I just they change your mind, man. They change your psychology. How can you how can you stay sane after that? I don't know. That I, I'm I'm freaked out. I'm shocked. I have anxiety. All these sort of things, man. But I like this experience. You know, I love this. That's why I love watching horror movies. That feeling they give you. There's nothing like that, nothing like that, dude. Nothing else gives me a feeling of this uh, adrenaline, you know, this blood rushing to my veins when I see something this creepy. Man, that no one would dare. I, I said it, I will repeat myself because it's important to know it. No one, no industry would dare to make movies like that today. I've seen many horror movies that comes out like recently, like for the past 10 years or something. <sighs> There's nothing like it. The intensity that was in this film showcased and the atmosphere and this natural, wonderful, like incredible acting, it's pure, pure joy to watch, man. Pure joy to watch. It gives such a realism to the movie. The horror movies that come out uh, nowadays, they have this, man, lazy jump scares and lazy storytelling and nothing really connects. I'm, I'm tired of that, you know? And uh, the fact that these old movies such as Shining and Exorcism and Alien and this type of horror movies, they give you everything that you need from a scary movie to make you shit your pants. And that's exactly what this movie did to me and I believe to many of you as well. Man, <laughs> the acting here was just phenomenal. The way Mother acted in this was just wonderful, so realistic, man. That's how every mother would react, I believe, in a real life scenario. And of course, the child, child was terrific, man. And uh, I had one question, like, was uh, when she was possessed, was 
the same actress, like the same child playing the role? Or was uh, she replaced maybe, or I don't know, man, with makeup stuff, you could not really tell, you know? That's so well done, so freaking well done, man. It's unreal, man. It's unlike anything, unlike anything else that I've experienced. That's why all of you guys, I mean, at least 90% of you was like uh, requesting this movie over and over again. I see it, man. For, it, it's been for months you've been requesting this. And sorry for delaying, but it was worth waiting, dude. It was worth waiting because I, you see like how I reacted to it. And uh, what was your reaction when you first saw it? And for some people, I believe you saw it in the theaters and uh, in the cinema. That would be quite an experience. That would be quite an experience, man. I don't know what else to add to this. I'll leave the rest up to you guys. That's it. I'm out. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, for staying. Hopefully you are as creeped out as I am and as, as horrified as, uh, as I am. And some of you might already have seen it and uh, you guys know, you guys knew already, you know. But who saw it first time with me, guys? I feel you. <laughs> I feel you. Take care now and see you next time. Goodbye.